Welcome to a very special edition of America Outdoors Radio. I'm John Cruz. With me today is Michael Whitlow. He's with Anglers Inn International. We're broadcasting today from Anglers Inn at Lake El Salto in Mexico. We're about an hour and a half north of Mazatlan. And I'll tell you what, if you are looking for a place to catch a whole bunch of bass and some big ones too, we have got the place for you here. Mike, welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, we're glad to have you here, John. It's been a while to get you down here, but glad to finally do it. Well, it's been a ton of fun so far, and I think we should start off with a fishing report. It's been really interesting so far. You know, we came down here, and this place is all about big bass. And boy, it did not disappoint. It wasn't a numbers game the first couple of days, but the quality of the bass caught by the folks here was amazing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, out of a group of 20, 22, 24, I think we're about 18 of them with personal best this week. Uh, most of them sevens. We've got a lot of eights on the boards, a bunch of nines, and I think we're at four double digits already this week in two and a half days. That's pretty amazing. Oh, it's absolutely amazing uh, that we've got four anglers who have caught bass weighing over 10 pounds. That's amazing. I've got to tell you, you helped me get my personal best twice over. Uh, living in Washington State, we don't have a lot of big bass. My personal best prior to coming here was only five and a half pounds. Very first day, very first half hour, you got me my personal best. And today, I busted that, uh, thanks to my guide, Victor, with a 8.1 largemouth caught on a top water popper. Absolutely love that experience. Oh man, isn't that amazing when those things blow out of the water and that big giant fish? And congratulations. Uh, a fish over eight pounds is a big fish anywhere, but man, do we have a lot of them in this lake. Oh, you certainly do. Now again, the numbers weren't really there the first couple of days, but that's changing today. A couple of the groups really got into a whole bunch of bass. And we're not talking just small bass, folks. When we talk small bass, we're talking one to two pounders here. That's not exactly small. You know, we're talking a lot of threes, fours, and fives as part of this. How many bass did some of these people catch? So as right now, we're transitioning to the summertime pattern, and they're starting to school up and chase the shad. And a couple of the boats today, they got into a couple schools that blew up. I think one boat, they landed 60. They had three fish by 10 in the morning, and within an hour, they wound up with 66 fish in the boat. You know, all, all throwing the Berkeley war pig, you know, just uh, rattle traps and stuff like that and just tearing them up. Another boat had 45, same thing, the fish blew up, you know, and these guys are just catching them. I mean, every cast and lots of them in that three to five pound range, and they're just having a blast. Oh, absolutely are. And, you know, the fishing is fun, and that's the reason we're all here. You can go to a lot of places and get into good fishing. But you can't go to too many places where you can be treated like an absolute king or a queen like you can here at Angler's Inn. Uh, the customer service is just overboard fantastic. Well, thank you, John. You know, we've got a great staff here, and our motto is we want to exceed the ordinary. You know, customer service excellence is what we excel in, and we're going to make your trip one of the best fishing trips you've ever had in your life. So, in addition to the customer service, and folks, you're never going to wander around here with a, an empty drink for very long. There's always going to be something, whether it's iced tea or something a little more powerful in your hand if you would like it to have it there. Uh, but the food is fantastic. I mean, for example, today for lunch we had carne asada. Tonight is shrimp night. Uh, and oh my gosh, I can't believe the ribeye steaks that we had last night. Oh, the, the big ribeye steaks, you know, I mean... It's just a great steak to top off your day after out fishing with a big old shrimp on it, you know, a big margarita or a cold Pacifico beer that Mazatlan's known for. You know, yeah, we, we try and do it right down here. Oh, you certainly do. And folks, this is all inclusive. All of your meals are covered. You start off with a, a great breakfast that includes made to order omelets or anything else you want, including eggs and hash browns potatoes or, or whatever else you might want there. I mean, we're talking some really good stuff here in terms of the food. Good quality. Uh, again, customer service fantastic. And in addition to all this, you also offer spa services. We've got quite a few wives down here that are really enjoying that, not to mention a few husbands. Uh, absolutely, you know, and, and part of our couples package is we like to uh, pamper the ladies, so when you bring your wives or girlfriends down here, you know, they have all-inclusive spa privileges, so they can get as many massages as they want, a pedicure, a manicure, a facial, I mean, we really like to pamper them because we want them coming back. And uh, for the guys, you know, it costs a little bit of money, but you can get an hour massage, and I'll tell you what, after two or three days of 
you know, throwing throwing them lures out day after day and catching all them fish, a good massage really works your shoulders over and helps you out. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the daily schedule's like this. You get up in the morning around 5, 5.30, you have your breakfast around 6, and, and you were off to the lake. You'll fish from about 7 a.m. until 11. You come back, it's lunch and a siesta. You're back out around 2.30 or 3, fish till 6.30. Then it's appetizers, then it's dinner, then it's time to swap fishing stories, and you do it all again the next day. It's just a ton of fun, and you can do it for multiple days, up to you in terms of the package that you book here. Uh, something else I want to talk about, that's the lake itself, and you know how big is it, how old is it, and why is the bass fishing so darn good here? Well, the, the lake is over 30 years old, and uh, a long time ago, Billy Chapman uh, introduced Florida Strain Largemouth and Tilapia to the lake. And the tilapia are very nutrient rich, and that's what makes these bass grow so big. And of course, Florida strain bass, they grow big and they manage it so that we just, it just the population keeps rejuvenating. And it's, like I said, it's been fishing like this for over 30 years now, and lots of big bass, a lot of shad in there that the bass feed on too, but it's the tilapia and the, the bass and the management that makes it such a great lake. Well, it is an absolutely wonderful place to fish. And one of the things we should talk about here is the scenic beauty. I, I had no idea that we were in the shadow of the Sierra Madres till I got here. This is a beautiful place to fish, and man, oh man, there's wildlife and also domestic stock everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of bird life, especially earlier in the year, December, January, February, so many different types of duck species and the, the shore birds and the ocean birds are here. But this time of the year, you know, we've got Cuda Monday walking around up on the hills. You've got the Chachalaca, which is the Mexican turkey, making all kinds of noises during the day. It's, 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 it's an exotic place too. It's in the beauty of the mountains, the, the beauty of the scenery, and then catching those big old fish. It just really wraps it all up in one. Oh, it really does. Folks, uh, you can't miss with a trip to Lake El Salto at Anglers Inn International. Let's give out the website so folks can find out more. And more importantly, uh, how to book a trip with you as their host, because I would highly recommend that. Well, uh, you can reach out to us at anglersinn.com uh, to book a trip with me, uh, which I, I'm a, a personal concierge. I'll take care of all your details on your trip, especially first-timers. You want to come down here? You know, a lot of folks are nervous about it. Well, I make it really, really easy. But you call me at 509-378-2814. Uh, Email is mike.whitlow at anglersin.com. And like I said, check us out at the uh, Anglers Inn website, anglersin.com. You can call our 1-800 number, ask for Mike Whitlow. They'll get you in touch with me, and, and I'll help you have the trip of your lifetime. That's Mike Whitlow, folks. Uh, last name spelling, W-H-I-T-L-O-W. -W. Again, Mike Whitlow at anglersin.com. That's the email to send them to, or just check out anglersin.com. Call them up. Ask for a trip with Mike Whitlow. They will hook you up, and trust me, a host a trip with Mike, it is painless, it is seamless. You're going to absolutely love it. Again, anglersin.com. Stick around. We're going to bring you more from Lake El Salto right after this short word from our sponsors. <laughs>